One of the numerous problems that soybean growers face is the infestation of soybeans by parasitic nematodes that can stunt the plant's growth and reduce yield and seed quality. This parasitic roundworm, and particularly the soybean cyst nematode, is a major pest in Mississippi soybeans. At Mississippi State University, genetic solutions to reduce the damage caused by this pest are being researched and funded by MSPB checkoff dollars. Dr. Vincent Klink and colleagues are utilizing DNA processing and genetic engineering to learn about the presence and detection of plant parasitic nematodes and how to help the soybean plant resist infestation. The research has two goals. The first is to sequence the genetic information of various nematode types in order to build a database for future reference. The second goal is to utilize this information to genetically alter the soybean plant to become resistant to the nematode. And what that does is it allows us to develop molecular markers for this nematode. Okay, and then what we do is we take uh, soil samples from the field and we extract DNA directly out of, uh, metagenomic DNA directly out of the soil. And we use these molecular markers to amplify and quantify the number of nematodes that are, there, that are in the soil. And so this is species and race specific. We can take this DNA information and actually use it to genetically engineer plants so that they can become resistant to these uh, plant parasitic nematodes. And so it's essentially like an engineered in defense response. All right, it's kind of like when you go to the doctor and they give you an injection for, for say, uh, uh, chicken pox or, or something like that and you become resistant to it. That's essentially what, what we're doing here. By removing the threat of infestation of plant parasitic nematodes, the soybean producer will have one less potential problem to deal with in the quest for high yields and greater profit. Your checkoff dollars working for you. The Mississippi Soybean Promotion Board.